first need to check which hard drive I left in there. So I left the Linux one in there. However, I need to restore my boot stuff. For the SGI IREX installation, I had to alter the boot variable, so I need to somehow restore my booting arc load and this Linux. Yeah, maybe we only need to change the OS load file name, I think, or also the OS load partition. So this is the volume header. I think this could probably be okay, but we need to change at least this to, yeah, good question what I had there, maybe Linux, arc load and, ah oh yes, actually OS loader slash, hmm, I should actually have made a photo or screenshot what I had there before. This boot Linux actually still loaded Unix here and but it's trying to use ArcLoad because ArcLoad is using this drop file system stuff so at least it's loading into ArcLoad um, but it's using this partition which isn't right. I right I had there some I actually had there some XFS stuff Need to shortly figure out how that was working here. So I'm slightly further, I think this was XIO0, PCI15, SCSI0, disk1, rdisk0, partition1 and then XFS in brackets for this grub file system code stuff. It loaded nearly, at least it loaded already arc load, but then it didn't find the configuration file which it tried Unix, this is the OS load file name. And I find this slightly inconvenient, maybe I will later another month heck more around on this arc load. I find this boot stuff really a little bit annoying also that we need to change so much between booting RX and Linux. It would be much nicer if we only had to change here one or two things or at least not so much. Also obviously it's quite error prone to type such a long string complicated with braces and curlies and whatnot. Error free and such without proper arrow key navigation thing at least that I couldn't find of. So the last thing I think we have to do here is set an os load file name to arc, what was it, arccf maybe, and then try to boot again. And also in the meantime I found out I often blamed the keyboard. I thought this two meter long keyboard was a problem that somehow this editing stuff hang there also on 386 and such. In the meantime I think it's not the keyboard. You probably saw the display flashing. I think it has to do with 70, 75 or something hertz on the VGA analog input of this NEC display. So I think what is actually hanging is the NEC display uh, video processor thing inside there with this higher frequency VGA signal. So I will probably also maybe later today or something like that try another display and see if that is going because it was also hanging on not only the 386 but also some other systems that I had on there another day, whatever that was. But so initially I only had this on the SG Octane and I was worried that something was not stable with the Linux port and some interrupt handling was hanging there a second or so. So if that is only the VGA of this display, it is quite a relief that I don't have to debug interrupt handling whatsoever stability stuff and it's only the display input there. So let's try to boot this. Okay, arccf is no configuration found for this label. Hmm. I wish I had more documentation what I've done there, but maybe this was right, I hope. Um, but maybe we still need some root file system thing there if that was not in the arccf. But again, this booting stuff we still need to improve and make less error prone. I, I don't like how error prone this is even for me after a month or two here. Kernel panic. I had the feeling that this was maybe not using um, root device null here. So much for that. At least you can see the red light bar flashing. At least that part still works. Still need to solder in the blue light there for the regular power on indication. Yeah, 
I think I had slashed off SDA2 somewhere. Pity my previous video wasn't as sharp. Certainly need to step up my video game here. Okay, let's see how it goes with set env os load options root equals dev sda2. So this is loading the unlinux4. Don't see the kernel command line there, unfortunately. No, that did not work. Root device null. Maybe mistyped or plural versus singular. Fortunately, still not guessed the right one. So much to a guaranteed has SGI label support. I really hate the typo in here. Architecture something. It really was X. Configure not config. So let's rebuild the kernel for this and see how that goes then. And are we rolling? One lunch and one kernel build later. So now we got here some 16, 12, I think. So, of course, this doesn't change the output of disk type. And maybe I need to add support for SGI partitions to disk type another day. But now let's mount SDC, I think it was two. Oh, wait, oh no, one. Is this swap? Hmm, maybe this. Hmm. So let's try append. That we do not always have to edit and add this in the SGI args environment variable. So root equals def sda. So now I wonder, I thought it's actually we can check the fs type. So let's try two and what did we have here? Yeah, we have sda2. Maybe this is why it wasn't working. I think I tried sda1, didn't I? Anyway, then let's try to boots this with SGI. This is of course why we love Linux so much, just to be able to mount everything everywhere. And by the way, awesome mirror display, right? This is why we love glossy displays here so much. I think it should auto boot when we type auto. Let's see, starting up the system. And now we only have a syntax typo. Awesome. So let's see what we got here. So just a semicolon missing. I hope. Let's see. So, are we getting a root file system now? And yes, now we are getting a boot again and... This is certainly also much more permanent than the previous environment stuff that I had set up there. I think I had it set up so... Let me check... So the question is... Need to shortly check which system I had where. Here I had this in old, usually I have it in capital, too easy to see it. So, and this N32 new, and I think this was, this should be the last build that worked the best. Of course, later I need to copy this to the whole root file system. Most likely I will use another SCSI drive also for a dual boot setup with IRIX. So, this.
the deadly fear system that wasn't fully working. That would be a pity. So now we are talking. I think here are all the latest build back due to some reshuffling and running out of disk space. I didn't have the full system on here for some reason. So we can bind mount all the stuff again. As we run this as a rule system inside the running system here. So dev proxys and all the config then impact driver is it a or do we have your hardware cursor also need a hardware cursor that is the last of my builds that has a hardware cursor. Also need a monitor with high enough frequency for a higher resolution. This uh, open source impact driver is currently only able to run at this resolution and I think that should be that. Yes, that is hardware cursor, also the ugly one from the boot prompt obviously, so that is good. I hope it works stable enough here everything. Okay, other mixer we also have, chances of this to work. So now I accidentally had this, as I didn't know I had only half a system here, I already rsynced the build with the optimization improvements. So can we exit this or because 